Hello, my friends. We're right outside of Orlando Jones. It was his home and his office. It was built in uh, 1699. And Orlando Jones is Martha Washington's grandfather. And when Rick and I met his parents here, in 1982, we got married in 73, uh, and I was a history buff, and his mother wanted to come to Williamsburg and meet us here. We four stayed in this house. I'm going to try and back up as far as I can without getting the, oops, so that's it, it, the sun in my eyes. And I don't want you to have to see it either, but it's a, a big bottom floor, the first floor and uh, was, we had a big bed and there's a bathroom here on the side and there's a fireplace here. Uh, but unfortunately back then you were allowed to have, the, the fortunate was you were allowed to have fires, but we came uh, the end of September right into October, I think, or uh, in October, but we were a week before the fire marshal came and uh, approved us having a fire in the room and his parents stayed upstairs. It was a smaller uh, little place to stay, but uh, of course they ended up being in our room the whole time, and we were, I think we were the only ones with a TV. But the, around the back is, uh, there's a, an outhouse and a, um, a back then, and there's also a little um, cistern for uh, collecting liquids yeah, for collecting rainwater, excuse me, I'm sorry. But, um, you know, for $16.99, it's held up pretty well, hasn't it? And uh, it was a great little, it's, we've always had such a fond memory for coming here and always think that people should uh, try to preserve history. And Williamsburg has certainly done it so, so well. And I'm going to be in the sun, but I'm just going to aim you back there and say that it's a really cool little place to go behind and go down into the into the cellar where they would have gone a little perhaps that was a uh, some sort of a uh, summer uh, a summer kitchen I'm not really sure and I'm not going to go back here because uh, if they have this rented, I don't want to disturb those people. But you can see all these little buildings. Uh, there's an original 89 buildings uh, that were purchased and have been uh, worked on painstakingly uh, all year long, every year, uh, since the 1930s. And uh, they're always, you know, having fundraisers and asking for people to donate, which we do. And um, 89 original on their spots. And then they have, uh, oh, have gotten reproductions of buildings and also had a few buildings that were like on different streets. And they've moved them um, up and down Duke of Gloucester Street and on the back streets and I believe uh, in my readings of things that they still have that they have approximately 300 um, buildings now but as you can see they've had to modernize some things by you know putting in drains they actually have we were here six years ago and they were putting in like an uh, underground and in-ground irrigation system and so I'm sure in the middle of the night uh, they can do their uh, uh, watering of the grass so that it, you know, maintains the look. But uh, fascinating, um, in the 1930s this was a town that was had houses from the 1600s, the 1700s, the 1800s, and the early 1900s. There were cars allowed on these streets. There were street lights. Um, you know, you had uh, uh, stop signs. You had all the things that would indicate that this was a working town. As you can see, there's 
now you have no uh, motorized. The only motorized you would have would be uh, like a scooter, you know, uh, if you were a wheelchair, a uh, motorized wheelchair. And so uh, everything has been either put underground or uh, on the back streets. So uh, I think that's enough for this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.